In this video, we're going to take a look at an Amazon Basic 120 inch HD projection screen. Alright, guys, so here's the 120 inch 4K screen. I'll show you what it comes with. Here's the frame itself and the brackets. It's pretty big. Here's the hardware that it comes with. Here's a look at the frame with all the brackets in. The corner brackets are right there. Four screws in each corner. Then you got the middle brace down the middle. What we'll do now is we'll run the screws into the corner brackets here. Start putting this together. And here's a look at the projection screen itself comes rolled up and just unrolled it here and that's where it's going to go right on the garage it's usually where we watch our movies at you guys can see the material that's used is a little bit rubber but they also have velcro on the back here that's what adheres it to the metal frame. The fabric is kind of like a rubbery fabric. Pretty stretchy. Here's a look at the frame with all the brackets in. The corner brackets are right there. Four screws in each corner. Then you got the middle brace down the middle. Everything lined up good, didn't have any problems. All the hardware worked fine. Now we just gotta go ahead and put the projection screen onto the frame with the use of Velcro. What I did here is I laid the frame over the screen, just wrapped it over and the screen itself was pretty flexible like I said it seems like it's made out of like a rubbery type material so we need to be stretched I didn't have a problem I was able to wrap it over and use the velcro to adhere it to the frame worked pretty well after that I went ahead and hung the hangers for the frame and I'm just running one screw through them. That's all that's needed. This isn't very heavy at all. You can run all three if you'd like. Now this projection screen does come with some edge trim. It's really low profile. As you guys can see here. I'm actually not going to install it. It's installed with 3M tape. I'm going to leave this off just because I want to be able to take off the projection screen from the frame and be able to roll it up and store it away if needed. But if this is more permanent, then you could actually put the trim on and it'll give it a nice little black bezel look. Alright guys, so that's pretty much how it looks right there. It's fully installed, hanging on the side of the garage. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pretty big. Like I said, it's a 120 inch screen. Just to give you guys a better idea, here's my 13 year old daughter standing in front of it. Excited to watch movies on it. What it looks like I'm out on the side of the garage. Here's a look at the projector that I'm using. Nothing too special. I got this off Amazon for around a hundred bucks and it is an LED projector. It's an Android. So you can hook up uh, everything through Wi-Fi. That's how I got my Netflix, YouTube and everything ran. Here's the outputs on the back, just power. And then uh, looks like a VGA. And on the side here, you have a couple 
outlets, one's for audio video, a couple USB, and an HDMI. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you my setup here. Here's my projector. Got it ran to my power pack there. I got it shining right there on the screen. It's still a little daylight, so uh, can't really see the screen too well. It's pretty much the setup. We sit back there either around the fire, or I set a couple chairs up here, right in front of the projector. And we watch movies back here, so that's kind of my simple setup. Now before I use this, I just actually used the side of the garage to shine my projector on, which uh, as you can imagine is not that great. The colors aren't too vivid, and you're obviously going to get the lines from the siding where this is going to be a little bit smoother picture and it's going to be a little bit crisper and clearer. You might not be able to notice it too much in the camera, but in person the picture is a lot crisper. The colors are more vivid and obviously everything is a lot more smoother. all right guys so that's it for this video hopefully you found this video useful if you did hit that like button if you like what i'm doing on my channel go ahead and hit that subscription button don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when i post my next video thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys later Bye. 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 Bye.